I think it worked. If it didn't mess up here, the last time I checked, it looked like it worked. So I'm going to go with that. Um, and we're going to say that the audio worked there. That was quite the ordeal. Maybe the ordeal is still going on, and I don't know. <laughs> but it should be fixed now. And now I will continue getting these wires to line up. Very cool. All right. One more. I'm going to cut away that insulation so I can solder to the wire with good audio quality now. You can, you can hear as my heater is in the background. It's great. Um, this is the main workshop space that I have, so I deal with it. Sounds warm. Does it sound like Christmas? Does it sound like I'm by the fireplace because I literally am, except the fireplace is an oil heater or a hot water boiler. <laughs> oh boy. Welcome back to Lincoln tries to not cut himself. I am not cutting myself currently. This is going well. All right. And I believe that's the last one there. Um, ground is all ready to go here. Make sure to lock your utility knives when you set them down. Safety tip. Sounds like an evil lab. <laughs> I will eat your children. I don't know. What what do evil evil people say? What 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 are, what are they? It's like it? Will Smith is an evil. I can't. I, that's the only person I know. Like yeah. It's free one time. Actually, YouTube. You know, YouTube's pretty crazy. I'm here on Twitch. I can. Talk crap about. <laughs> yes, that is true. You'll be there, so you can have a direct impact on the stream. Um, YouTube, YouTube's evil. I can talk about talk crap about them because I'm not on Twitch. Fortnite, Fortnite's evil. Oh, but here's the thing: I've never played Fortnite. I've never downloaded the virus, so I don't know what it sounds like. Ha! Got him. Wrecked. All right, I believe these are mostly lined up. Okay, nope, not that one. You know what we're going to do? We're going to bend the wire so that it lines up just like a little bit. Oh, and I got to do it on the inside here so I don't like... Okay, so I'm going to angle this, but it's probably... Oh, no! Ah! The uh, video keeps cutting out. Come on. I need to get a better app for this. I tried DroidCam, which is the other, which is the other, um, okay, good, we're back, which is the other solution for this. I, I, this, this is a phone recording this video. It's actually pretty, pretty high quality video, but it's, um, not doing the best right now. So I'm going to turn off this window capture here. You're not going to see that, but you're going to see, I'm going to zoom in on this, uh, beautiful little thing here. You guys can see it a little better. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this. Actually, I'm gonna grab a helping hand here. This is gonna grab my wire and hold it in place while I solder this down. Looks like 160p to me. Um, shucks, oh well. <laughs> Hopefully, actually, I wonder if Twitch is actually downscaling it for me. That would be nice. Because then it won't buffer on your end. Right? That's that's the, the reason it does the um, that low quality. So it doesn't buffer. As long as the audio sounds nice, I'm like half okay with it. Alright. Second one down here. Oh, I missed. Must be David. Wow. All right. There. That third one there. I'm going to move my helping hand to this other side here. 
So now on this other end of the ground wire, if you saw in the schematic, if you were, if you were paying attention, for those of you at home, <laughs> or not at home, or quarantining, or wherever, wherever you may be, you may have seen that it connects to a proto board with a lot of random things. In fact, they're not random, actually. And if you said that, if you thought that, I'm very offended. <laughs> um, so yeah, so there, it connects it down to some resistors first, then it goes through those resistors, um, and then it goes to the, the microcontroller ground. By the way, this is the tiniest micro microcontroller you'll ever see. It is absolutely tiny. Um, I can turn on a, a light here. Wow. Did that crash it? That might have crashed it. Well, that's great. <laughs> it died. I tried to turn on the light and it died. Yes. Speaking of random, I added random board option to boggle. Aren't they always random? Flashlight. Nope, it just crashes it. Oh wait, no, no, it worked, it worked. Now you can see, that is a tiny, tiny microcontroller. Random board size and time, oh, okay. Check out Johan, Johan, plug your website. DigiSpark, no, it's the QT Pi. It works with CircuitPython, and the reason it does is because you can add an extra flash memory chip on the bottom. It's not focusing. It is not focusing. This is worth in a Sony A11 or whatever Jacksepticeye Septic I used to use. Yeah. Um, I don't have a boggle command. It looks like I have a boggle command now. I don't have a boggle command. But I will let you plug boggle. So there you go. That's the microcontroller that I'm using. You saw it. Now it's gone. Now I turn off the flashlight and I zoom in to this beautiful... Oh my god! Why? 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 Why does it do this? Why does it do this every single time? It's like the only way you can get a high quality image is with this app. Plus it does MJPEG, so it's already not like the greatest quality. And it's getting this exposure all over the place. I thought I was only complaining in Trackmania, but like Dang, I complain all the time, don't I? Uh, I'm just going to use this to cut this off. So this doesn't quite line up here. So to solder it, I'm going to have to cut off a little bit more here. Being Trying to be careful here. This is very, very meticulous here. I don't have to cut off all the insulation because I'm only soldering on one side. Call me crazy, but... It works. If you want to see more stuff like this, anyone, anyone watching that I don't know, um, hit the follow button. Hopefully, I want to do more like this. This, this is fun for me. So if you like this, you'll like the other ones. Um, Seven percent on your laptop. Thing. That that's uh, a, a good strategy is to have your laptop only or your batteries any lithium batteries only go from eighty to twenty five percent. It's like it's a trade off because yeah you could do that, but then you can't use your your laptop for like half the time. So far, I haven't actually gotten any solder on the um, on the plastic part here. I also haven't broken anything, which is surprising. Oh, I could have just slid this down. That would have been big brain right there. Okay. This one's already dead anyway. The laptop I'm on, I'm on a little... Oh, I should plug it in. Speaking of which, hopefully this doesn't mess up the audio. No, the laptop I'm on is uh, that little touchscreen one that, that you gave me, JJ. Uh, Johan, whatever. I, people know you. Uh, and... Uh, Solder and boggle yesterday. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, so this is a little touchscreen laptop. I'm actually RDP'd into, so remote desktop, onto my laptop that I normally game Trackmania on. If you've seen me play Trackmania, that's what I play on. It's that laptop over there. Okay, there we go. Our ground wire is connected here. Let me get a close up here of that. Let's get a close up of that. And let's see if I can turn on a flashlight with that. I already peed. <laughs> it's a 
You know, it's gonna crash. Let's go! Let's go! This is epic. You know what I should use? I should literally just have a Discord call and like screen share this. Alright, so here it is. I'm gonna turn on the flash. There it is. Cool. And now you can see this wire that goes along here. That is connected to all the grounds. Wow. Okay. Now I turn off the flashlight and now it crashes again. Yes. Okay. That is expected. Don't download this software. I I highly recommend that you don't. If you if you if you also stream and you need to stream video from a phone, don't do this. It's bad. It is bad and you should feel bad. Okay. Now that's a Michael Reeves reference. He referenced a big YouTuber. Uh, okay, next I'm going to get a power line over here. And I guess what I'm going to do first is connect my power line to my buttons over here. These are buttons. Buttons, they're actually very nice buttons. If you have been in FTC, you know these are the buttons from the beacons in 2016. This is an interesting wire. I think it's actually the same gauge, hopefully, as this ground wire. I have been getting random stuff and throwing it together on here. So I would not be surprised if some of this is wrong. So, okay, this is a little bit of a dilemma. Because I am not sure how to do this. What I could do, an easy method to do this, is to get one wire, take off all the insulation, and then wire it through one side of the switch. Let me remind you of the fritzing electrical diagram. Electrical diagram there. That this red wire along here that connects up to 5 volts on the QT is this wire here that goes along on the buttons too. So I'm going to have a singular wire I don't know if you could see my mouse. Hopefully you could see my mouse see where I was highlighting. Um, so I'm going to have a single wire going across all of these buttons. That's going to be a common 5 volt. So I've got to, I'm going to have that. And I'm going to have... Yeah, and then it's going to go up here and connect to those wires there. I actually do want to check that with my multimeter. My multimeter, whatever. Whatever you may call it. Uh, where is it? I want to make sure that's correct, the way that I'm doing this. I believe it is. So basically what you should see on here, that's a good spot for this. How about like that angle, like that angle right there? Because that means you guys can see it. And then if, I, if you guys can see it, I can just look at the preview. All right, let's see. How jank can I make this? Welcome back to the show. How jank can he make it? Pretty jank. Oh boy. Nope, it doesn't work. Um, what if I did this? Does that just like... Oh, wait. Nope, there we go. Okay. Resistance. Measure resistance. You go on this ground wire on here. Any of those. And then I'm just going to measure resistance to there. Zero. And it is increasing. What? What? Wait, why? Was it decreasing there for a second? I'm going to try to lodge this in here. And then so I can... Oh boy, this sucks. Okay, let's see here. That is lodged in there. Do I, am I, I'm still reading... Some, Nope, it fell out. If it reads OL, that's overload. That means it's too much resistance to... Um... Hmm. Okay, so... Connect there. To there. There we go. Got it with one hand. And now I move this. So now it's point... Is that 9.5? Yes. This is a 10K... 10 kilo ohm resistor. So if you don't know what that is, that's 10... 1,000 ohms, that's a measure of resistance, and now I move it across and it decreases down to effectively zero. That is 7 ohms, that is 
a thousand times less. So I'm going to measure that. Now, here's the thing. If I go over one pin on there, it should measure 9.52. And as I move the slider with my finger, it doesn't change. Why? Because that is this wire that I'm connected to here. And this wire, yes, it's hard to see. Those are just the resistive track. If you look up what a potentiometer is, it's just a resistive track. And then a little wiper blade that goes on it that measures the resistance. So it's just going to, these two wires are the resistive track. It's along the resistive track. And that is exactly what I want, so I'm going to continue with this. I'm going to do this the slightly jank way. Slightly jank. Only slightly jank. What's going to happen, I'm going to just take off a ton of insulation off this wire. Here, I'll, I'll show. I can do that right now. So it's going to end right here. Actually, can I just do this in one go? Yes, I can. I believe so. There we go. So, there we go. There's our wire right there. I'm going to twist it up. And I'm going to feed it through the holes on the buttons. There are holes on the buttons that can accept this wire. Might have been nicer to have single-stranded wire, but you know what? I'm using what I have. And this is what I had. In a moment here, I'm going to check the stream to see how it's doing. Make sure I'm new to streaming. I'm going to make sure there are no hiccups in here. All right, so next, I'm going to loosen that, and I'm going to rotate this button, and then tighten it back down. These wire cutters also have pliers built in, which is epic. Vice Grip, wait, this is Vice Grip brand. I forget that every time. So that's generally, so I'm lining these up so that they uh, have the holes going this way. So it's like this specific one right here. Okay, then this one, I tightened all these by hand, but I guess this one is uh, acting up a little bit. And the, I never bothered to drill out my 3D printed holes. So it might be a little crappy on that end. But it looks like this is working out. I just have one more to move, really. So there we go. Line up the buttons. Looks like they're pretty good. Gonna always tighten that later. Now I'm gonna grab a small screwdriver here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and take out all the screws on one side. And I will not forget where those are because um, I won't. It's part of the script. I swear this isn't pre-recorded. All right. Wow, that's great. Okay. Oh, this is barely in frame. I'm going to turn the soldering iron off. Because I'm doing a little bit without it. I'm sorry. I just don't need you all the time. Alright. Something got cut off there. Alright. One, two, three, four, five screws. Epic. Next, I take this wire. I'm just going to feed it through. Each one. Oh, no. Dose, let's see, awesome. And it's gonna get exponentially harder each time. Three, yes, I'm alternating my languages as I count. I think I know French, wait, can I count to four in French? Oh God, this isn't even gonna reach four. 
bro. Oh, and and it crashed. That's awesome. That's epic. Now I have to restart it. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. And now you also get to hear the heater in the background. This is this is fantastic, by the way. I'm loving this. This is awesome. Okay. So what I'll do, I'm trying to get this to go through. All right, that's looking like it's going well. Hopefully you can still hear me and it's not creppy. I, th I, th I thought I heard crappy and I was like, oh no, do I have to fix this? I'm gonna retwist these wires. See, I was about to ask, would anyone watch if I programmed this on stream? And then I was like, haha, no one. But then I was like, I'm just gonna do it anyway, because like some people might, you know? Because I still have not written the full program for this. I have a program for sort of a scaled down version. This is part of an engineering project, but like I also genuinely wanted to make this. All right, there it is. So there it is. Those wires are go. The, 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 mm, yeah, they awesome. They go through. They connect to one side of the switch each. Now I will screw them down. Awesome. That's screw number one. I have not lost any screws, which is. Uh, it's an accomplishment on my end. Here we go. Numero dos. Screw D. I can't think of any more counting jokes, so I'm just gonna like not count as I screw these in. Um, I think that's a plan. Awesome, yeah. And there it is, last one. And okay, we're good. Thought my computer went to sleep there. All right. That's done. 45 minutes, got two things done. Woohoo! Yeah, awesome. I think next step would be, you know, I'll go ahead and uh, connect these power thingies. <laughs> power thingies! Woo! Yeah. I want to connect the power rail to the bottom side of these potentiometers. And then I'll go ahead and start soldering up this proto board here. I still don't, I'm not used to the frame that I'm working with here. Proto board, yeah. I'm gonna put the microcontroller on it. Microcontroller, woo, -woo. yeah. All right, <laughs> then I guess I'll go on this side of the, the terminals there. So this one takes a little more, um, Precision. So, what if I did one at a time? Nah, that's not gonna work out, is it? Is it now? Hmm. If I use the uh, the utility knife here, I can get a little better, a little more accurate cuts here. All right. Get this here. Get this here wire prepared. All right, uh, that one, other side here. See, the issue is after I'm done with this stream, I want to raid someone, right? But like, it should be related to this category. And I know no one at all that streams in this category. I know of no one as well. So it's not like... 
Hmm. There's this. This one. I could go ahead and solder this up right now. Honestly, no, 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 because I, yeah, I'll just turn it back on and then just solder it up. All right. I'm going to grab a Sharpie so that I can write down. Got to sneeze. Hold on. Mute. Okay, uh, I'm gonna look for a sharpie here. Okay. Uh, there we go. Awesome. Purple sharpie. Classic. We're gonna mark on the wire itself where the leads are. Wow, this is the worst sharpie for this. <laughs> awesome. And then I'm just going to shave off insulation there. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> this is great commentary. And he's still cutting. He's still cutting the wire. And would you look at that, folks? He's still cutting the wire. I mean, really, realistically, this is all it is. Just cutting wires. Then there's like the other soldering wires. Then there's like the non-wire things like resistors and stuff, but it's really all the same stuff over and over again. That marking is still accurate. Just making sure, because like when I did one, it could have moved the, where the other one should be. Right. Forgot about that. The fact that that's the worst thing that's happened to me today is like not that bad. The fact that I left my multimeter on. Oh no, <laughs> a nine volt battery. Err, erg. Good. The other ac the other marking is still accurate. That means I'm doing a good job. Yeah, woohoo. Yep, these lulls in the stream. It was more exciting when my audio was crappy. <laughs> uh, no, I don't want that to happen again. All right, chat reminder, hydrate. Hydrate. Sorry if that was too loud, if my hydration bothered you, but I'm just saying, you should too. In Wadzi's wise words, water checkpoint. Yeah, that's like his only thing, and he also beats Minecraft challenges, but... <laughs> All right, there. Last one, I'm not even checking. I'm going in blind. What a gamer. I wonder how much game servers lag as soon as like, ah! I didn't even notice it that time. How long had it been there? Also, this heater is running way too often, and it's like actually uncomfortably warm in here. 
Okay, there. I'm gonna configure it. Configure it. All right. All right, Lincoln. You're gonna have to comprehend. Oh wow, I can't even speak. I'm not making words right now. Let's see if that's. Let's move it up a little bit. Frame this correctly. Oh yeah, I'm so good at this. All right. I'm like bending around to make sure. Jeez. Sorry to anyone I just gave nausea. Um. <laughs> All right, we're back. We continue. I think I'm actually done with, almost done. One more little wire here to cut. Oh, I'm still on 60 FPS. I probably don't need to be on 60 FPS. I think it's too late to change it now. I missed a little because I'm going to sell you water. Well, I was also trying to sell you water, so you didn't miss much. <laughs> Poggers, the heater is gone. Can we get some coggers in chat? I have water already. That is such an interesting story. Wow, water. Wow, iPhone. All right, there we go. Got uh, got that going. Boot up the. What that? What's what? Wow, iPhone. Which one? Coggers. Oh, type it in all caps. Actually, just scroll down below the yeah 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 scroll down <laughs> below the stream and you'll see all the emotes that I have, and you'll see which one you typed. It's like a the Poggers guy, but like rotating and on a gear. You have to install either Frankerface or Better TTV, one of the two. I'm kind of a Twitch guy, you know. You know me. Kind of, kind of a streamer, you know. Not even using my helping hand. I'm doing awesome, bro. This is actually going slightly better than the last one. I'm learning, chat. I'm learning. Do you want to know where this microphone is from? This is from a headset. Um, some like crappy Amazon heads headset. Ah, uh, I need to set that down there. All right, good. And then I took out the microphone. And then I soldered it back to the original cable. And then that was it. And that's my story. Thank you. I'll be expecting my Oscar like next Friday or something. Or Nobel Peace Prize. I probably just like solved world hunger there. I'm so humble. <laughs> All right, there we go. Epic. That is finally done. We are an hour in, almost. And I've gotten three things done, I'd say. I think it's now time to look at soldering some stuff to the actual breadboard. So I will disconnect this. So what I'll do, unscrew that. So this pops right out. And on this side, you can see the beautifulness. If you haven't seen this already, uh, on my Discord, I put out a picture. This is a MIDI mixer that I'm going to make. It's going to mix my audio for me. 
also has mute buttons and LEDs down here. Because I'm going to be looking at it this way. I'm right here. I'm a, oh, I just tapped my microphone. That probably sounded bad. So I'm going to see the mute LEDs, the buttons, and then I can move the faders around. And I kind of wonder, how out of sync is my audio from my video? If I go like that, that might... Oh, something... Okay, no, we're good, we're good. Except Zoom meetings popped up for whatever reason. Not bad. Wow, I'm surprised. Because this camera has latency from the internet. And my microphone also has latency from the internet, so... Didn't expect it to be good. Didn't say this was going to be look pretty... Uh, didn't say it was going to look pretty... Alright, I'm going to clamp this in like this. Uh, and then that's going to... Not there. But I don't want to do that. I want to loosen that. Alright, so there's this, right? I'll just blind you guys real quick here. Now I'll do that. And now it's not actually the right size because what happened was the QT is one row of pins too large for this. So it's actually going to stand like that off of the PCB and the pins are like angled. But I'm fine with that. So, um, yeah. Next, I want some, th some way to hold this down. I'm probably going to use a rubber band. I'm going to grab a rubber band. Rubber band. Where would those be? I could also use a twisty tie. I could also use a zip tie, but that's the less preferred. I'm going to go here is the rubber bands. Here are the rubber bands. Right here. Right here. Bring a rubber band back here. I'm going to twist this around itself. This is quite the strategy. I saw this. Evan Kale, a YouTuber who deleted all of his videos off his channel, well, he made them private, just as a, out, out of a little narrative that he's doing. Basically, he used, like, clay to do this, same task. And I thought that was interesting, but rubber bands are going to work just as well. So now, I just take this, I'm just going to solder it down, because I believe I'm set there. That's the right side that I wanted it to be on. Those are the right pins. Those look pretty set in there. I've catted this up in the computer. Here we go. Item number four of today. Pour some heat. Pour some wick. Call me John. John, John Wick. Actually, there's no Wick here. It's just John. Go to the bathroom. They call me John. What can I say? I'm a bit of a comedian. I believe all this stuff has flux on it already. So if you're screaming at me, your computer. No, uh, no! Camera, why? Just at the intense moment. This is like a crazy time right now. Okay, there. We good? It's gonna adjust. Okay. There. I'm John Witt, they call me Kendall. Uh, I cannot think of rhymes right now. 
Okay, hopefully my rubber band stays stays on here. Flip this around. And now the main event, the QT Pi uh, from Adafruit. I will now solder my pins onto there. Voila, done. How does he do it? Mostly with just some solder and flux, that's about it. Both me and my fr friend made one of these. He's already finished, I think, with the electronics. He was working on it last night, actually, and uh, pretty sure it was going well for him. We now take off the rubber band, and it should hold. This is epic. Ho, 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 ho. All right, we're gonna let that cool down for a moment. Actually, grab a. There we go. That didn't help too much. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. This is, uh, so far, going well. I haven't killed anything. I'm not quite sure actually how I'm going to mount some of these uh, wires on here. Because basically, I've got signal wires coming off of here, right? And they're going to go to resistors along here. They're going to go to the potentiometers on the mixer itself, right? I've got, all, I've got these signal wires coming off of here. I've got some button wires coming off of here. I've got some coming off of here, the LEDs. What I've got to do, hmm, let's see, all right, I'm just going to add the last three or two on each side here, uh oh, did I bridge those, I don't know, no it doesn't look like I did, okay good. So I don't want to connect the signal wires. I especially don't want to connect power and ground together. That'd be bad. I'm never going to use 30 volts, but I might as well secure it down with some solder. I'm going to grab this side, solder up those last ones that were covered up by the rubber bands beforehand. Boom. Clean up some of these here. That looks good. Awesome. Now you can see that right there looks pretty much the same as wow, that, except zoomed in. Um, yeah, like that. Hey, I zoomed in properly. That has not happened in a while. So right there on the, on the right of that diagram, maybe I can point to it. Right. Wow, here we go. I'm gonna do it right there. Yes, I did. I pointed to it right there. That's that's this right here. We are on the right track. So next, I need three 1K resistors. I'm gonna grab those from somewhere else because I have them stored away. We were previously already on the same LEDs on a configuration with an Arduino Leonardo. But now, I'm going to just grab the resistors and use them on here. Awesome, got them. Resistors have been retrieved. Going back over. It's 3 o'clock. How long has it been? It's about, been about, actually still about an hour. Yeah, we're still about an hour in. See how my battery's doing on some of my streaming equipment here. Gonna make sure I'm not just gonna run out of battery here. That's charging, right. This is charging too, but I just wanna see. Oh, wow. Okay, that's losing power, even though it's charging. That's worrisome. Oh, that kinda messed up there. Go over to this window again. Cool, all right, good. Back in business. Back in biz. 
these three resistors are um, brown, black, red. They have brown, black, red bands. That means they are 1,000 kilo ohms. No, one kilo ohm. You guys can't, wait, no, you can hear me. I just can't see. Wow, there we go. Okay, I'm back. Dang it. No, no, that's zoomed in properly. All right, we're fine, we're fine. So, one kilo ohm. I just wanna, it's my little cheat sheet right here. I can tell by the resistor bands what resistance it's supposed to be. Brown, black, red, 10 times 10 to the two, 10 times 100, that is 1,000 ohms, one kilo ohm. That is exactly what I need. So now I'm gonna position those right in here. So you're gonna do that. So I have to bend these down quite a ways. So I wanna, I wanna make this pretty compact. You know, pretty compact. Let's see who's here. Hey, if you're here, drop a message in chat. I'll respond, say hello. And if you want to see some more stuff like this, I love doing this stuff. So I might, I will hopefully, not, not might, I will hopefully do more streams pretty much exactly like this. Hopefully a little better production quality and maybe a little more interesting. Um, but yeah, if you want to, drop a follow. Hello. You've, you've been in, in chat for a, a while, though. So, like, I've, I've already said hi. You only get one hi. No. <laughs> I only say hi to people one time. Come on, jeez. Give it the times. <laughs> no, all right. Thank you for staying at the stream. All right. Ah. That goes in there. So this is going to be a little bit of a tight fit, trying to get these to connect. Actually, nope, no, no, no. I can connect them on the bottom here. So I'm connecting these resistors really close to here. As you can see on the schematic right there, whoa, those resistors right there. Um, tell me, can you see my cursor when I go like this, when I'm looking at parts? Actually, you can see where, where I'm selecting. So these three resistors right here, those three resistors, I'm putting really close to those pins so I can just connect them straight up. Just, just connect them. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm doing here. But they're so close that I, I would have to, like, go underneath the microcontroller if I wanted to connect them. But actually, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to end up doing here, geez, this is a mess already. What I end up doing is connecting them on the bottom because I have all these traces on the bottom too. So I can just use that. So that's going to be epic. There we go. Uh oh, I feel like those minions that are like. Never mind, that is a dumb reference. And like only I would get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the camera cut out. Yeah, I love that. That's my favorite. I love when that happens. Gotta say, this app sucks. We'll now connect, and I still have to zoom in. You guys can see that. All right, good. Quarantine got people making inside jokes of themselves. No, it's minions. It's like from years ago. So it's A, it's obsolete, and B, it's minions. So it kind of sucks. Like, kind of sucks. You know, it's like minions. Kind of gross, really. Like, kind of disgusting. Like, what even are minions? They're, they're like monstrous little beings. It's like it's it's like the whole mentality of like Fortnite bad, Minecraft good. It's it's almost the same thing where it's like 
dude, Minions bad, Avengers good, or like Star Wars good, or something like. It's like they're they're all the same show. It's all it's all movies. But like, all right. So I'm looking at my diagram here. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know how that works then. Big brain. I absorbed it all in like five seconds. I know exactly what I'm doing. That's a lie. I don't know what I'm doing. Ha 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 ha. I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> the evil genius, but like instead of having like a huge plan, it has no plan at all. It's like mega small mind. Insanely small mind or something. I don't know. That'd be a dumb movie. No one would watch it It's probably been made that's the sad part and I'm, I'm guessing no one watched it What a surprise People want to see action They don't want to see tomfoolery. They want to see success and conflict Dumb villains provide no conflict. And that's facts. Nothing will ever top Mega Mind? What about like Mega Ultra Mind? <laughs> Mega Mind 2. <laughs> I think what I do here, I'm gonna do a solder bridge here and see if it works. If it doesn't, I will take it apart and redo it. But let me make sure I'm doing this right. So that one goes there, that one goes there, that one goes there. That one goes there, that one goes there. So if I just solder bridge some of these, I'm just gonna grab some big solder, big boy solder here. Pump it in. Melt it up on top of here. This is disgusting, gotta wipe this off. Right. There we go, put a lot of solder on there. Just bridge that gap. Oh, that's a blob and a half right there. Oh, gravity is affecting that. You know? <laughs> if they make Mega Mind 2, I'm blowing up the air. Uh, wow, this didn't work. Can you grab some solder wick? They call me John. All right. I put way too much solder on this this specifically solder heavy thing. Somehow I messed it up. Did that work? Mighty. Might have. Mighty. Mighty. It might have. All right. There. Uh huh. What am I doing? What am I doing? I want to cut that off anyway. What am I doing this for? I just want to level this off. Okay. And I just want to, like, I'm gonna slump back in my chair so I can see this really well. All I wanna do is bridge these two gaps. Ah, I think that worked. It looks a little janky, but you know? You know? You know? I think it's gonna work, all right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Next, what I'm going to do thinking about this, thinking about this. So, if I got all right, yeah, I like that. So, I'm going to cut this off here. I'm going to cut part of this off. I'm going to use my resistor wire, I'm going to reuse it.
take some of this resistor wire. There. Cut off the excess there. And now I will take this and make a little U shape out of it. I'm going to squish it down with these pliers here. Hopefully. This is a tiny part. If I can grab it with the pliers and then crush it with another pair of pliers. These two pairs of pliers here. So basically I'm making a little bridge here. So that I can hmm. <laughs> so that I can have a a little bridge between two of these solder points that I have. I don't just want to make a solder bridge. I'm actually going to have some wire there. Now that works. That works well. Okay. There we go. Nice. So now not only is it solder, there's a little bit of wire there too. So now I'm going to pull out my big boy solder again. And welcome anyone to the chat. Be sure to say hello. Let's see here. There, that bridged well. Okay. This is going better than I thought that it might. Er. Let's see there. Oh, no, 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 that's the wrong bridge. Oh, no. <laughs> I take back what I said. I take back what I said. This is not going well. What a roller coaster. I'm in. I want to cut this off so I can work here a little easier. No. Oh, this sucks. Okay, so I'm going to cut this off. We're going to use some John solder. Uh, finally, the, uh, the heater has turned off. I'm going to press this John solder wick down. I believe this is how this works. It's going to wick up some of that. Ah, oh, boy. I need to probably cool this off. So I don't want to break the uh, microcontroller. Okay, cool. And guess what camera turned off? The one that I was using. What a fantastic thing to see. Gotta love it. Gotta love it, kinda hate it. All right, there. We're back. Welcome back. Seth Lynn here. Have you ever had a dreams that you 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 want you 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 have you you want you You want him to do you so much you can do anything? Alright. Do we have a no meme break for a bit? How about that shit? Ah, I'm so bad at this. How do I get this to not bridge here? What about the little solder sucker thing? I want to try a solder sucker. So what that does uses uses air. It's gonna 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 suck up the solder as it's um as it's melted. 
And I'm going to move this closer here so it's not as much of a lever arm. Oh boy. Oh, that's not going to work. Not here. Okay. I really need to learn how to use solder wick. Because that is exactly what I need to use right now. Ah, that might have worked, but it doesn't look like it, because now it's actually worse. <sighs> this sucks. This sucks. This, this kind of sucks, you know? Ah, <sighs> alright, well, let's see here, let's see here. Hmm. Okay, the issue right now that I'm having, let me show this up close. Seems we've got a few people here. So... If you look closely, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to. Uh, so this might crash the camera. We'll see. And consensus is it crashes it. Awesome, cool. That's great. Let's boot it back up and try that again with the light. Light, awesome. So here's the idea. Right here, there's a big, like, glob of solder there. I don't know if you can see that. Can anyone see that? Jeez. It's hard to position this right. And I can't tell if you guys can see it or not. Not really? Okay. Effectively... Well, this is probably going to crash it here. All right. One moment. The situation is that I've got... Um, the situation is... Uh, all right. There. All right. I've got a big glob of conductive material. Basically, say you have like your throttle and your brake channels on your car. Let's just say you had electronics that controlled those. And now imagine that both of those are controlled by the same thing. So no matter how much you press on the gas, you're also pressing on the brake. Basically, I'm trying to disconnect the two so that you can press the gas and the brake it's separately. <laughs> um, that's the issue right now. And it happened if if we're going by this analogy, it happened while I was trying to connect the brake line, right? And I connected it to the gas line, and now I'm trying to disconnect it. That's the situation here. And I'm trying to put on my best face, just going through it, but it, this is funky, and I'm not skilled, very skilled at this kind of stuff. This kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. I'm glad you're here with me in my struggles. Hopefully I can figure this out. Jeez, this is annoying. Although I can always ask for help from somebody that also knows stuff about this. I'm going to try this, uh, the... Call it the brass or break. Oh. The brass section is where you press on both pedals on your car at the same time. New part of an orchestra? Actually, it's pretty crazy. Oh, it worked, it worked, it worked. Oh, that's beautiful. This is the tool that saved it. Okay, so basically, let's say that you've got a hydraulic system, right? And you've got hydraulic fluid, and you want to run your gas and your brake line. And now you've got a brass and grape line, so you now want to empty out the hydraulic fluid. So you'd need like a pump. Sometimes you could just pour it out, but say you needed a pump, this is the pump. This worked.
Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to let it cool down for a little bit. Cool off. Because I don't want to break these sensitive electronics. Probably heated up these resistors more than enough times. Now, here's the, here's the, here's the issue. Um, I have to do this multiple times. <laughs> and I'm going to have the same problem every single time. It's totally going to mess up. But it's all a learning process. I will get through it eventually. Eventually, it's going to work. And also, eventually, the heater in the background is going to turn on and mess up the sound. Hopefully, I can give you guys a heads up about that. Let's see. Right now, I'm just clearing out the pump that I was using. So, a little piece of piece of something stuck in here. It's like a little, little piece of metal. Essentially, you got your gas break. Now, hypothetically, now theoretically, now say, uh, I can't continue that joke. Basically, Ben Shapiro, uh, haha, funny. <laughs> yeah, um, I kind of want to keep it family friendly in this chat, you know. We're gonna, we're gonna not do that. I don't have mods, dang it. I have to use myself. Gonna try to keep it friendly. If you don't want to see the message, just refresh your chat. Uh, it should go away. All right, uh, I probably cooled down enough to continue. So we're gonna, I'm gonna do that. I do actually, it is a, still a little bit messed up, so I have to um, just John Wick some of this a little bit more. There we go. Almost, maybe one more. Awesome, and I can separate this out a little more so I can work easier. It still looks kind of jank, but I'm not complaining too much because it kind of works now. All right. Oh no. Hmm. All right. So this is it's not it's not connecting in incorrect ways now. Now it's just not connecting. I wonder if that's falling through now. No, okay, we're good. We're good. Trying to keep it cool. Trying to keep it cool down here. I might want a little bit of water. Wire, wire, not water. <laughs> yeah, I might want to add a little water to this electronic diagram. Yeah. Um. Can add a little wire here. Oops. Add a little bit of wire. Okay. Cut this off here. So if you're just dropping by, this project is a MIDI mixer. So I'm actually wiring up stuff for this part of the project so I can have the microcontroller control all these things and control some audio uh, on audio volumes on my programs. And if I want to make some music, I can also have some, you know, various controls. Mm, all right. And I missed, no, I did not misplace that. That's awesome. Uh, the, I will post some of this stuff on my YouTube channel, uh, which is linked in my about page. So you can check that out. Check out some of the other projects that I've done. They are not as good as this one. This one's my best one yet. Um, that's about it. Yeah. Hmm. 
Hmm. How will I do this? Let me try the solder bridge one more time. But if you were here while I was trying to clean up that mess... Oh, I think that kind of worked. Now, if someone's at the door, I could go get it, but like also, someone else should. <laughs> um, okay, now someone else is getting it. Alright, we're good. We continue. We continue. I'm going to close one door so I, you guys don't get some background noise. Kerchunk. Sorry if there's wind noise. I can't like check my audio in this current. Probably selling water. Speaking of water, hydration break chat. Take a drink of water. Oh, just on cue. Let me cut out the background noise. My, my heater definitely heard that <laughs> and has now started heating. Even though definitely in this room it's not needed. But the rest of the house, about to get heated, just like my emotions, and the camera cut out. Ah! <laughs> Why? Why is this the case? Why is this always the case? Alright, we're back, we're back, we're back. We're fine. We continue. It's just, it's just like a cycle. Hold on. It's just like a cycle, you know? It's like, I knew, I know this is going to happen. I just prepare for it. And then it happens. And then it's fine. It looks like those are connecting to the right ones. Oh, that one, that solder bridge went away. We're back, we're back, we're back to where we want to be. So we're gonna bend that down here with the pliers. So right now I'm routing these resistors, this these top three resistors in the bot in the top right here. So the top right, you can see those resistors on the electrical diagram. I'm wiring these up. And it creating these pads here is proving to be quite difficult. Next, I'm going to make, so I'm making it out of wire. I'm just cutting off the ends of the resistors. Yo, what's up, Eric? Um, cutting off the ends of these resistors. Sorry for the uh, heater noise in the background. You've probably been in the workshop, so you know what it sounds like. Also, I must ask, how did you get the GlitchCon um, remote thing? Uh, whatever that's called, the badge. Let's see here. Uh, yo, spaceship, that's among us. You just had to type in chat. Oh, I was like probably a few words away from getting it. That sucks. I went to the stream, but then I never typed anything. Okay, so this is annoying me a little bit. No, 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 no. Actually, I inflicted this upon myself. So I need to make this wire a little bit longer. I'm going to bend this down a little more. Okay, there we go. That's going to work out a little better. So I need to bend that right there. Ooh, that's annoying. There we go. Awesome. 
and then bend this down here. I think that should be it, but hopefully we'll line up there. Oh, that was too much. So, so what's with um, the end of school for you? Is that coming up, or is that has that already happened? See here, so cut this off here. Don't need the rest of that. Shouldn't at least. Class ended two hours ago. The final class of the year. I, I that sounds about right. Twenty. Uh, what, what I heard, I heard the twenty-first, but like, could be different. So that'd be pretty awesome. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Last, last, last class of like the, the school year or whatever. Or the, the the semester, I guess, for you guys. Or quarter or something. Something like that. Alright, so... I'm now going to add this solder bridge here. I, I made a little path here. It's very hard to see. It's just about as small as the last time I tried to show you. Wow, that is close to being very wrong. All right. There. There. And now bridge the two. Please go smoothly. <gasps> that just worked. Semester, year. Actually, well, school year, that's in the summer, but like, I guess semester then, yeah. Please go smoothly. No, 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 it connected with another one. <gasps> yes, I saved it, I saved it. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's epic. That is epically awesome. I think I did it. That is beautiful. I wish you guys could see this a little better than you will be able to. The 29th. Oh, so I guess the year then, like when does break start? And it crashes, awesome, cool. But I will actually turn off the electrical diagram. Let's see, be able to see this. Hold on a second. Okay. Zoom in, flash on, okay. So I will really try to get you to be able to see this. It looks, it may look ugly. You won't actually see it, but it, it's, it's gonna work pretty well. So it's like this wire is routed up here and back down to this resistor. This one right, oh, come on, focus. This one right here is going to route down and out that way. That resistor and that one routes directly out to that one. I'm going to check over for accidental connections that I don't want. It looks like all is well. A man has not fallen into the river at Lego City. Oh boy. That one looks a little janky. I think that solves that. Let me look really closely here. Looks like it's good. That's awesome. Dude, that's epic. That is item five, no, item six of today, I believe. Nice. So we got, so far, it has been hour 40 minutes, and I've gotten common ground, common um, 
whatever you call them. Jeez. Um, common voltage on the potentiometers and the buttons. I got the controller down and I've gotten the resistors down. Next up is going to be setting up the resistors for the buttons. Um, let's see, is this, this is just not charging. This is just not charging. Yeah, so the first thing to die is going to be this camera. I don't know how I'm going to solve that. Hmm. Okay, so I have to leave a little space off of this, off of these resistors to connect to the LEDs. But I can snip off these uh, extra wires here. I'm gonna do that now. All right, good. Looking nice, looking nice. Nice and clean. Nothing too much. Now this is USB-C, which is pretty awesome. And the, and the microcontroller was only $6, so it's like, I don't know if there's a license, like it seems like there's a license for HDMI or something, like to put the logo on there. I don't know if there's anything with that for USB-C. It seems pretty, well, universal. So, hmm, all right. Actually, since this is plugged in now, I can charge this. Okay, let's hope that this doesn't crash it. I'm going to plug this phone into the computer I'm streaming from. Uh, and you guys see me. Okay, yeah, I'm still shaking my hand. We're good. And it's charging, kind of, maybe, hopefully. Epic. Awesome. All right. Next up, we're going to look back at the electrical diagram here. We're zoomed in pretty well here. So I'm not looking at chat right now. So I'm just going to, I'm going over this mainly for myself. <clears throat> I could set up that resist, this resistor right here. That goes to a singular button. And then we have a little funky setup here with some Y sort of shapes here this Y shape here and that is a pull down resistor that goes to multiple buttons these uh, four wires out here go to four of the buttons this pink one here goes to the fifth button so what's fun is that we have two wires they're both blue here that's not great color coordination there but each of these blue wires it, they're carrying it's carrying the data of two buttons so we have two different resistors here that are allowing us to use an analog value to find the value of two different buttons that's the concept there so I can really set these up anywhere I want I'll effectively just set them up in the middle of nowhere, right there, and this row of holes doesn't actually exist. So let me grab my resistors, because I don't think I have them here. Alright, now I can see chat. So those are going to go, like, right just back here. It is not going to be that accurate. Just throw them down, good to go. Should fit. Then the last one that goes over here, I'll actually put that one down now. That one that goes right here. So I've got those three at the top, top right. And then that other one that goes right here, I'm gonna put that one down now. So that's a 10K. 10 kilo ohm, 10,000 ohms. I'm gonna take a look at my collection of resistors here. This is the uh, an old Radio Shack kit from when they were closing down in our area. There was, there was a discount, so got the kit, and then very simple to just, uh, oh, I need a different one here, different pack, 10Ks, oh wow, I'm almost out, 
Good thing I have, th I have three left exactly, which is all I need. So that would be brown, black, orange. Perfect. So those, those are these. Oh, clean those up. Three resistors right there. Looks like two. One of them is covered up there. Okay. Gotta replenish my supply there. Gotta do that, because I'm gonna make another one of these mixers that's slightly more advanced. It's gonna use a Raspberry Pi. It's gonna use this cool screen that I have. Got it from the thrift store. Got this screen from the thrift store. Basically, it's like a $300 touchscreen, but now no one wants to buy them, and they only go on eBay for like 30 bucks. It's the Xenark 700 TSV. It's some random touchscreen. Works quite well. Okay, grab a resistor. This is the same as the other ones that I've been doing. This, I believe, is connecting to the RX pin on the QT microcontroller. And we're going to wire this into the breadboard. Breadboard, breadboard. Looks like a thinner wire on here. Okay. Definitely looks like a thinner wire. And now, because I don't want that to fall out, I'm going to hold it up right here. I'm going to scoot back into my chair, add some solder to each side there. Oh, it's falling down due to gravity. That is the big sucks. All right, awesome. That's epic. That's there. Awesome. And now I just make a little solder bridge here. This is going well, this is going well. Not that I want to jinx it or anything, but... I think this doesn't have many possibilities of messing up. I'm going to let it cool off so that the solder bridge is a little more effective. I'm going to go ahead and trim off these potent, uh, resistor leads. These wire cutters are abysmal. Not abysmal. A little chipped. Oh, and the video cut out. Video cut out. Fix that. Ah, yeah, I'm really losing power on this. I... Ugh. What video quality is this going on? Looks like I could probably decrease it. Just to get a little more... Um, video cut, oh, well, I, yeah, it's back now, well, all right, well, let's see. Yeah, this video is going to, th this camera is going to die, so I'm going to go until this camera dies, <laughs> basically. That should be, it'll make a two-hour stream, I usually stream for two hours, but. I would have streamed more, but I think this camera is going to die. So, right there, I made that solder bridge. That was not that hard. And now I'm going to put these other two resistors in here. And I think I'll just route those. Hmm, what will I do here? So I know where I have to put them, because there's a, a Y configuration there, and it has it's three wide on each one, and there are two Y, so it's six wide, and that's how many holes I have on, oh wait, I don't want to do that, that's how many holes I have on here, wide, so I'm going to put that, oh boy, spaceship time, <laughs> I should use my audio for Among Us, the audio, the heater, alright, so this one goes here, And this one's going to go parallel. And yeah, the whole Evan Kale approach of um, using like putty or something to hold these down. 
these resistors right here would really help here because I'm going to have to mount this upright and then connect connect that like that that works put some solder down and that is good to go wow not bad not bad Easy, easy, easy dub right there. Got those resistors mounted on there. Next, I'm gonna grab my, I'm gonna go, so right now it says it's gonna have a 1K and a 5K on there. I'm actually gonna use a 1K and a 330 ohm to line up better with, my friend is actually also doing this project. So I'm gonna have, we're going to have the same one, so we'll just try to do that. Because he, he only had 330. So, we look in here. 330 is orange, orange, brown. Right here. Gonna grab two of those. Awesome. And my one case. Gonna grab two of those. Awesome. See if my video cuts out and someone likes it. They could see, they could say, I like your cut Jeep. All right, that was a bad joke. <laughs> I think we can all agree. All right, so we're next going to mount the 1K and 330 ohm resistors on here. I'm gonna go ahead and bend all the leads first because that was a little bit annoying. When I was mounting those 10Ks, I kept forgetting to bend the leads before attaching it to the proto board. All right. Drop a 330, drop a 1K, drop another 330. This is what I'm doing here, just adding these resistors on here. The last 1K here. 1,000 ohms. All right. They call me Sherlock Holmes. All right, so next, probably I'm going to pull out the rubber band again. Speaking of which, maybe I'll get the band back together. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, my video cut, because you left the stream. That joke was so bad. <laughs> Uh, all right, there. Stream stepping in real life. Say hello. And they probably can't hear you over the spaceship sounds. 
It, 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 come on, here's the microphone. Oh, hi. They can't see me. Yeah, no, they can't see you. Whoa, it's a different hand. Whoa. That's crazy. All right, probably that was like the worst audio. I just need to take a Oh, boy. Scuffed audio, 101. All right. What? Hold up, hold up. One second, chat. All right, cool. We're back, chat. Still with, still with the. Uh... Okay, okay, that's great. Um, <laughs> we're still gonna have spaceship sounds for a bit, but I'm gonna go ahead. I rubber banded down these resistors, so now um, they are they are held down. I could just hold it upside down, and they won't fall out. Very genius on my part. And I'm just going to solder down these outer ones here, and then it's going to hold in place, and then I can uh, take out the rubber band and solder the other ones easier. Okay. Why is this one? There we go. All right, here we go. Add this, add a little bit of solder to each one. Oh, no. No, at least I caught it early. The battery hasn't gone down on this, which means it's probably like kind of charging. Zoom in. Wow. All right. So there's some other robotics things I want to do. I'm actually on a robotics team, if you don't know that. And I might, if my team allows me to, stream some of the building of that robot. Any initial thoughts, Eric? Could that be some good outreach? Could that be uh, just a... Uh, I mean, we, we leak our robot most of the time. We, we actually have a, a Twitter. It's electronvolts7393. Uh, just look it up. You'll probably find it. It's probably not exactly that. Okay, there. Haha, <laughs> what's up? Yo, I cannot see. Can I refer to you by your real name? Is that is that okay with you? Yes or no? Oh, uh, let's see here. Uh, just to catch you up. This is what we're working on right here. Get it lighted up, light up correctly. So it's a, a um, an audio mixer so you can hear the spaceship sounds even better. Oh, the spaceship sounds are gone. Awesome. Heater just turned off. So, got mute buttons, got uh, sliders, got LEDs in the back here, right, right back here, and um, wiring up the microcontroller, all the pull-down resistors. Just need to solder up these two last ones here. I'm almost done with the resistors, and then I might call it quits here for the stream. Total cost for the mixer, under $30. That was a pretty much arbitrary um, requirement set by my teacher, but it actually kind of helped us. And we also, yeah, this is an engineering, an engineering project that, also, that I also wanted to just kind of genuinely do. Basically, um, 
we were given that budget, right? And we were like, what, how are we going to do this? And I was like, wait, but if we do this, we're probably just going to like build a crappy case and then just throw it away afterwards, and why would we want to waste it? But then we were like, we both ended up, oh, you know what? It's kind of just simpler to 3D print a, a case for it. So thanks to I Cannot See, he actually printed the, uh, the case for this. Um, pretty epic. I added some rubber feet to the bottom so it won't slide around, and then this mounts right on top. It goes right inside. Yeah, so less than $30, and then we also added on another part of the project where we built our own potentiometers. I'm not going to show those. They, they kind of suck. Like, why would I make my own potentiometer, you know? Um, I mean, it, it, it worked. Don't get me wrong, it worked. But, like, the amount of smoothing that I had to apply to it, it was like, and to get it to kind of work, half the time it would send out erroneous signals of like, you just changed the volume. And I did not change the volume, it was just sitting there. Or you like bump the table and it changes the value. That's not going to happen on these. I seriously doubt it. Oh, come on. All right, so now I'm going to connect, um, let's see, so, so they're the, the Y's, right? I'm going to go back to this, um, why was I pinged? I've been pinged. Why was I pinged? Um, okay. Uh, let's see here. Electrical diagram. So, these are connected here at the center of this Y. Sideways Y here. These are connected, right? That's what I'm doing right now. And I'm doing it with a solder bridge. The most jank way possible. I'm gonna clear off my soldering iron. Clean it up with a little bit of solder. Ah, that worked pretty well. Just dump a ton of solder onto it. Actually, it isn't working quite, quite that well. For some of these, it's not working very well. Let me check back chat, sorry. Okay, we're good. Oh, come on. Oh, it's leaking through on the other side of this. Try to cool these off as best as possible. Yeah, so my, my mixer, to, final, to give an actual final answer here, my mixer was just shy of $25. And there we go. That is solder bridge right there. Very cool. Epic, awesome. Wonderful. I think I go ahead and continue. Let me check the battery on this camera. It's the same. Awesome. It's actually like not losing battery. All right. So on the diagram, you can see those, those Y's have those four wires going off on the left. On the left of those two Y's, uh, there's, there's the four wires going out, right? So. What I have there, those go to the buttons directly. I could just connect those. I could also connect ground. Ooh, I like that idea. Because ground, that would allow me to connect, because then, then I would be able to incorporate this as well, 
right? So I've, I've connected these to ground. I also need to connect a few things on here to ground. So these points right here, this point right here, those all need to connect to ground. And I can figure out how to do that. I like that. Yeah, I'm going to do that next. So I'm going to have my ground wire come in right there from here. This ground wire is going to come in, attach right in there. And then those two are going to connect. That's going to connect. It's going to go back to the ground on the QT. That will work. 5 volts is actually really easy. I just go in here right on that pin right there and I connect this wire coming off of here. The hardest part of this is going to be the LEDs because I use Charlie plexing for this. If you don't know what it is, Wikipedia has a great article on it. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> that's it. I will leave you with that. You can look at it on Wikipedia. I will not bother butchering an explanation right now. Um, well, the camera cut out. That's a great time for a water break. Take a drink of water, chat. Mmm. I love water. Alright, my battery actually is going down on this camera. I don't want to blast your ears out. Got a call. Okay, we're back. We are back. Water break over. Connecting ground. So I gotta route that over there. So this is gonna be routed on the underside. Of these I'm gonna route there to there. That's gonna come in there. Okay, things that I need. I need this wire to connect let's see I'm gonna connect a uh, wire from my 10k potentiometer at the end of that Y at the bottom sort of at the bottom of the Y but the Y is sideways the one with brown black orange in the Y that connects to ground Is that making sense? I don't know. I don't know. Kind of makes sense to me. I need something a little longer. I'm going to actually use part of this ground wire. Definitely doesn't need to be this long, so I'm going to cut some of it off. How long do I need this? Just about that long. Maybe a little less. You can always remove wire. You cannot add wire to a wire. Wouldn't you know? Okay. Hmm. There, that connects there, and then I would, oh boy, how am I going to do this? I probably don't want... Yeah, I'm not going to use this wire. This wire is stranded wire, um, which, if you know what that is, basically it's made of lots of little little strands um, that can bend easily, and they don't keep a form, so that you can kind of have it flex around. 
But then here is some solid core wire where I can take this, uh, where can you see it? You can see it there. So I take this, I bend it, and it stays in place. I bend it and it stays in place. That's what I'm going to use here because I'm going to make I'm going to make something with a little path. I'm going to make a little path for this to follow. I'm going to tack it down. I'm almost going to do like tack welds with the, the soldering iron. All right, just removing some of this insulation here. Could actually keep some of the insulation. That'd be interesting. I'll try that out. Just for a little bit of security, in case I don't want that. So that's going to end right there. It ends right there. And I have my insulation there, so I can just cut off that. I'm going to cut this off here. Bend it down, and I could just go ahead and tack this in place already. So that is pretty final. I don't know about you, but I think a ground wire, I would know where it goes. It'd be kind of sad if I didn't know where my ground wire went. Um, I definitely don't know, so I'm going to check here. That end of the resistor, that's the right place, yes. Yes, that's good, okay. That one right there. And then, shoot. Oh, spaceship sounds, let's go. Let's go, awesome. Epic, yeah. And we have liftoff, jeez. All right. So I'm gonna make sure, double check that it's B there, all right, whatever that means. Okay. Right here, connect that up. No, that actually worked out quite well. Ground. Ground. Ground wire. I think this is right. What's up, Shri? How is it going? I have asked this to Eric, but what do you think of me also streaming me building some of the robot? Nice oldering, yeah, yeah, the soldering, yeah. Uh, getting some of this project done. Uh, there, you can see it. Oh yeah, the team Twitch. Go sub, go, go follow. Uh, um, what is it? Electron volts. Seven three nine three electron volts seven three one one of those. If you're interested in more robotics content, well, I'll go I'll 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 go ahead and host auto host them that channel so that uh, you, you guys can see it. Anyone who's following me. All right, then I guess I solder this over here. So that's ground. I just want to make sure triple check here. That is ground. I'm connecting the ground wire. Awesome. Now I'm going to grab, I guess, my rubber band here. Be a DJ with the mixer. That is not all you need to be a DJ. <laughs> uh, I don't know. DJs, you know, kind of kind of cringe, you know, this day and age. It's like kind of kind of cringy. Don't know if you heard the news, but there's no news. They're just cringy. Forgot the dead mail five. You need that. Oh, true, true. And I need the Minecraft skin too. 
I actually made the mask for marshmallow. No, <laughs> honestly, kind of simple. Just some LEDs, probably NeoPixels, you know? If you know your LEDs, you know those ones. Okay, there, that one's soldered down. Just, just verify with the, the thing that is connected to ground. That is also connected to ground. Poggers. Okay. <laughs> that was the most out of touch poggers I've ever said. All right. I don't know what's up with that. That's not really connecting very well, but that's fine. This helping hand is very, uh, well, I guess, uh, helpful, I, I could say. <laughs> what is this doing, though? I'm not sure. I'm a tier 100 Pokemans. I don't know. Honestly, maybe I got, I, I think that was gifted. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't I don't do drama, man. I don't do drama. But I will say that this maybe I'll maybe I'll do some drama with uh, solid core wire because this is kind of annoying. It is not heating up. And solder is not sticking the way I wanted it to. What? Oh, my camera cut out. My camera cut out. Dang it. Dangit. How long was it out, chat? I'm not sure. Oh, and now my entire thing here is... Yo. Oh, okay. That's great. Guys, spam does not, like, do anything at all. You you do realize that, right? What is with what is with the spam? It's just like baked beans, baked beans, spam, baked beans, you know? It's like not that helpful. No, but like seriously, I don't know. I don't like spam. Okay, there. See this, cut that off right there. That works. That's epic. If I did this correctly, then I did this correctly. If I didn't, well then I might have to redo some stuff. We'll see. See you still here. All right, right there. Just cut this off, I guess. Um, all right, so ground is connected. It's been two hours, 22 minutes, two hours, 20 minutes. Let's go over what we've done so far. Connected common ground to the top of the linear slide potentiometers. Then we did power across the linear slide potentiometers. And we did power across the buttons. Then we moved on, we got the microcontroller soldered on. Got the resistors for the LEDs. Figure out some routing for that. That looks kind of ugly. Not gonna lie, but it it kind of works. Uh, then we got the button potentiometers. Then we I routed ground for those. This is actually coming together way better than I thought it would. So okay, going forward, what we're gonna have to do? We're gonna have to connect the LEDs. We're gonna have to connect the buttons. These are all signal wires. LEDs, buttons, and that's it, right? Now, after doing that, I'm going to have to mount the entire PCB here, inside here, and connect it with screws. We've also got a completely separate, almost completely separate conversation going on in chat. 
Can I suggest your next project? If it has to do with Twitch TOS or Simps, no. <laughs> but um, mechanical project involving what? Most of them are mecha mechanical keyboard. Uh, I cannot see is actually doing one. Um, he found a supplier of like microcontrollers with a lot of GPIO pins, and that's what you need with a uh, keyboard. And that's what he found. Okay, right now, chat. I'm gonna go look for some screws. Print your own switches. That is, I'm. I see. I made my own potentiometer for this engineering project in school, and <laughs> it was a joke. It was kind of a joke. It, it didn't really work. I mean. I'm solving a commercial issue here because most MIDI mixers are too cheap, but potentiometers are actually quite reasonably priced. That's not the issue I was solving. I wasn't super into making my own potentiometer for the project, so I didn't put a lot of effort into it. And now, urgh, okay, got this box of screws here. So I ended up with a terrible DIY potentiometer. And then, um, what did I get? But I got a, a, a somewhat nice um, mixer, you know? Like, I designed a lot of stuff into this. Um, I haven't exactly finished everything with it. But, like, the fact that the buttons and the LEDs are, like, lined up and it's all small. It's small, it's compact, it, it's somewhat sturdy. Um, and these seem like they're going to work well. And then the code is the other part of it. It's like, I'm doing a lot of code with this, so... Um, that I'm going to spend a lot of time with, but like, making my own potentiometer, that didn't go well, so I don't see how a switch, making my own switch is going to go well. I would probably buy switches. All right. This search for somewhat decent screws begins. Um... Ah, uh, man. I don't know if I have... What's this box? Ooh. Almost a jackpot, but, like, not quite. Theoretically, I want M2 screws right now. However, <laughs> I, that's what I printed it for, which means that it won't exactly fit, and I would have to drill it out. So I'm probably looking for, like, 540 screws. So these are imperial screws. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna grab another bin of screws. I won't be able to see chat for a second. Sorry if there's excessive noise. All right. This box of screws here. This is just random screws that I found, or that uh, it just kind of showed up one day, you know. Um, and actually, wait, wait, I'm also going to grab a few others. Again, sorry for any wind noise, I'm walking here. I'm walking here, and then, uh, okay. <laughs> the DIY potentiometer, I can actually show you guys what it looks like. And I also used some screws on that that I can steal. Hopefully my audio didn't just mess up. It actually might have. Oh, shucks. My audio might be very, very bad right now. And I do not know, and that scares me. But I now know how to fix it very easily. So I'm getting back to chat right now. If my audio is terrible, please say something. Is my audio terrible? Audio's fine. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> because when my monitor turns on, it disconnects and reconnects some various audio devices, and it usually messes up my audio software. So, here's the DIY potentiometer that I made. It is 3D printed, right over there, like that way. And basically, um, I don't know what to say about this. 
it's it's I, I use pencil lead to, for the graphite track for the for the resistive track and then there's like this wire coming off of it that like connects down to it it's 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 okay it's okay but it's not that great I don't know I don't know what I'm trying to say about it All right, achievement get, got the screws. I'm just gonna see how this fits in and then I'll take it back out, solder a few more things and I'll probably keep these two parts in close proximity. So I'll have these two very close to each other and make it maybe just like open like this so that I can just close it down in, right? That's the plan, that is the plan. The plan is simple. Oh wait, isn't that copyrighted by like, Ludwig or something. Like, that's his thing. More copyrighted than Walt Disney. All right. Let's try it out. So I'm mainly concerned about the screws close to the mounting point of the USB-C. It looks like that is a perfect fit. But this screw might be a little bit too long. Oh, wait, no, it's actually perfect. Wow. Well, I'm lucky. <laughs> All right, I will show you that in a second, chat. I'm just going to put this other screw in here. Wowee. Like, that screw went in with no hiccups. The second one is going to be a little annoying. Do you guys hear that, chat? I just wonder. Oh, the audio is fine, but the video cut out. Dang it. Come on. How's the battery too? Battery is dying. Let's see it. Hold on. <laughs> Alright. We're back. Oh wait, zoom in. So you guys can see it. Okay. I'm working on this right here, so you guys can see right here, so I'll move a few things around. I have the... I don't exactly know this word. Canny or uncanny ability to mess up any workshop that I am in. It's one of the two. I always get them confused. Either way, that is an ability of mine. And it will not be going away anytime soon. Wow. That looks awesome, dude. Okay. Oh, that don't that one doesn't quite do it. So I'll have to get maybe this screw right here. Let me let me uncanny. Uncanny ability to mess up every workshop I am in. There we go. Did you ask the boggle expert? Or did you just know? <laughs> Alright. Oh wait, let me get in frame a little bit more. So right here, this is mounting down here. And right now... Okay. Yeah, I'm just bad at vocab, that's about it. Um, it's right there, you can see that USB-C port right there. I can show you guys something plugged into there. Show you that it works. For reals. For reals, bro. For reals. Um, okay, this screw is not working that I'm trying right here. Get a different one. Ah, uh, where would that be? Is that the same type? That's the same type. Oh, that should totally work. Plus, that looks like M2. Looks like I actually have M2 screws in the, in the end here. And this is like the perfect length to This is like the perfect screw here, but it doesn't look like it's working. Yeah, I think it's actually the screw that I originally wanted. But then it's not working because the screw hole is too... Oh, spaceship sounds. Okay. Let's see. What can I do? What can I do? 
So for the other ones that worked, I used wood screws. So in here, try to frame this okay. Here and here, I used some wood screws or sheet metal screws, something like that. But now I'm out of those. Urgh. All right, let's see. Oh, this looks like a cool one. Just happened to find these. Oh, this is from that screen that I'm going to use for my next MIDI mixer. Hey, oh, yeah, there you go, Shree. That's the next project I'm doing. I'm going to build another one of these, but like, awesome. Like, this one is somewhat simple. But the next one's going to have like an art, uh, a, a Raspberry Pi. It's going to be like Bluetooth MIDI. Okay, these screws are way too large. All right, probably what I want to do is drill out those holes in the back there. Okay, I will do that. That's going to work out. Um, as long as I can get some screws to fit there that are less diameter, I'll be okay with that. I'm going to save these aside, maybe in like this little tray here. All right. So now I have to get this screw to fit in this hole right here. Wow, that right there and there. Because I have a few of these, these screws. Err. Uh, hmm. Okay, so. I have to find a drill bit that works for that. Did I actually struck, strike gold here? I might, have, and I, I might not even have to use a drill. I can just do this with my fingers. This actually might work out quite well. All right. Uh, wait, where did... Ah, uh, my screwdriver. Donde? Donde style. Where did it go? Oh no! It's all over again. Wait, oh! I bet you guys saw it all along. There it was. Right behind what I was working on. Classic. Just like the cartoons. There's a very low chance this works right here. Yeah, it's not even close. All right, gotta get something different. Try this one. Try this one for size. All right. Ah, uh, no, that doesn't look like it's gonna work. It's way too large. This one looks like a three millimeter. Yeah, this lighting is abysmal. I should really just, actually this might be as easy as moving the light source to that angle and then you guys can see it. And it's still pretty bad. It's honestly easier for me though. It's about the same for you. Uh, how about now? Did that fix it? Okay, yep. I do know how to fix it now. And also these screws work, so we're good there. 
I'm just going to trust that those, let's see, do they even protrude? Yeah, they protrude out a little bit. We're going to go with those. And now, put this away. All right, next up, I checked the battery on this camera. Uh, I don't like it, but you know what? We're going to keep going because this, honestly, I like how this is going. It's a little bit uh, scuffed, but for the most part, it's just fine. So this is going to be set in here like this. So the USB cable is going to go out this way. And this is going to be set in here like this. Oh boy, these wires do not need to be this long. But I'm just going to try just stuffing these wires in here just to see if this works. Just to see if this works. And, and, let's see it. Oh, you know what? I should have gotten the uh, other electronics to be here, too. But that fits on. And it cut out. I saw it happening. It, like, freezes for a second. And then, um... It freezes for a second and then just stops. Okay. Right back. Oh, zoom in. Maybe zoom in. Yeah, I think this is zoomed in a little less this time so you can see more of what I'm doing. That's good. A blessing in disguise was the uh, last one. So, that's good. Okay. Nothing seems to be hindered by what I've done so far. Next thing I want to try is just taking this out. Adding in that little box of electronics. You know what? I'll redo this. So that goes there. Put these wires down in there. So I think I'm going to have to, when I finally put this in for the last time, I'm going to have to make sure that I am not placing them in on top of... Oh, wait. Oh, wow. That was... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, yeah. So on here... Uh, there. The USB connector you can see inside there, um, well, it moves around right now, but basically I, d I can't pinch wires between the USB connector and the, this fader right here. It's, it's a very tight fit, but it looks like it'll work. And it looks like I can fit a lot of wires just dangling around in here, which is bad because it's going to make me lazy and then not like correctly do this, but Hopefully, hopefully, it'll be all right. Okay. Um, take a water break. Drink some water, chat. Get up, stretch. Make sure don't, your legs don't fall asleep. Hmm. Okay. What do we connect first? I'm going to say signal wires to the buttons. I'm going to I'm going to connect those first. I'm going to grab two other screws here that I lost before off of there for some of the buttons to get the wires to connect. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. Awesome. No, <laughs> not as good. Uh, uh, eh, eh, uh, eh, uh. Okay, awesome again. Where'd I put the other one? Okay, there it is. <laughs> this is uh, the weirdest roller coaster li uh, ride you'll ever, you'll, you'll ever have. Okay. I think next stream I will try to have an actual charging cable for this this phone camera. 
No, I also have to find, like, a better app for this. This just keeps crashing. Okay, so... Place those away. Get those out of the way. I'm gonna use those. Those go there. Okay. Good. And then this box of screws goes away. And I'm going to find not five different colors of wire, because that would be annoying to have to find. So I'll just do green. Classic electronics colors, red and green, Christmas themed, you know. All right. And if you're just dropping by, this is what we're working on right here. Ow. I just poked myself with a LED lead, but basically this is a little mixer for my audio volumes. It's going to be controlled. Oh yeah, there's also mute buttons, mute LEDs right up here. And this is the microcontroller that we'll be using, the Adafruit QT Pi. It runs Arduino and CircuitPython. Uh, but I'm going to use Arduino because uh, I know that already. I've made some prototype commands for a different Arduino that's similar to this. And I know that it works, so I'm, I'm continuing with that. Scaling it up, adding all five channels. Interesting stuff about this. It's under $30 to build if you want to build this. I'm going to have a GitHub page with the code and the CAD files and the electronics diagrams. Um, basically, go subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to see that. Um, if you want to learn how to build one of these, I'm going to make a video on it. Hopefully with a lot of detail. And hopefully within the next few months. <laughs> I don't know. This is not the only thing I do. I do other things, so... With that, we're going to continue. I'm wiring the buttons right now. Um, let's see here. Let's see. How about... I find a good amount of wire for the button. So, what say I have this that's going to be here. And I want to be able to maintenance it when it's sort of open like a book. So I'm going to measure out some lengths of wire, just by hand. So this length of wire right here for that one, plus a little bit. Good. This one. That one. Good. And I'll line these up so that I know which buttons they go to, because there's going to be slightly different lengths. This one's going to go there. It's button three. Button four. Okay, awesome. And button five is going to go there. Awesome. You can see that electronics diagram. Let me zoom out. So you can see how I'm wiring this. It's a little funky if you look close enough. Um, so there you go. There are the five buttons there uh, connected up to some of these resistors here. And then one last uh, is connected over to this resistor right there. Uh, yeah, that's, that's how that works. The video hasn't cut out in a while, that's a miracle. <laughs> so, I now strip the ends of the wires, remove the insulation, so that I can connect them to the buttons and to the proto board. Go ahead and remove this screw, or at least loosen it a lot. Feed this wire in, and connect this back up. Screw that in. Awesome. It's not going anywhere. 
Next, we're going to strip a little more of that wire there. This one seems like it's going to go here, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do the same to all of them. It's interesting that one wasn't cooperating very well. All right. Unscrew here. Screw it slightly back in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Good thing this is magnetic, okay. Oh no, my video cut out. Ah-ha-ha. I caught it, though. As it was frozen and not quite dead. Alright. Should be back. Oh, gotta zoom in. <laughs> Am I progressively not zooming in as much? That'd be funny. Eventually, I would zoom out if I'm not zooming in as much every time. And spaceships, uh, I cannot speak anymore. Wow. It's that time of day, folks. That didn't break the wire. Okay, we're good. I did break the wire. <laughs> I did a simple task wrong. Nice. <laughs> All right. Okay, awesome. That one's in there. All right. one of the other screws that I hopefully didn't lose. There they are. Hidden underneath. Place that in there. Put another screw on. Awesome, awesome. I don't know why I chose pull down resistors for this. If you see on the electrical diagram, well, it's way too small now to see, but I use pull-down resistors. I just prefer those for no reason. Could have used pull-up resistors, but I did not. Just something that I like doing. This is going to be uh, a little bit hard to maintenance, maintenance, I'm pretty sure. All right. Well, second to last one here. Channel. Oh, this is channel four. So technically, this is reversed. I have to think about that on the other one, but that's fine. When I'm doing the LEDs, the channel matters very much because I don't want to have to rewrite my code too much. Let's see here. Uh, 
looks like I have two wires left over. Oh, this one, I, <laughs> I used the leftover for one of them. I've got something in my sock. What the? Oh, okay. A wire got into my sock. That is interesting. That has never happened to me. All right. Muy bueno. I will add this wire here. Awesome. Find that almost missing screw. And screw this one on here. That's the last one. That's epic. It's been almost three hours. I think this is my longest stream, you know? <laughs> Casual. Just. There's a little piece of wire stuck in there. There we go. Something on my seat. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right, and that is all. That's all the wires uh, soldered up there. So I think what I'll want to do next is actually solder them to the board. Uh, this is going to be a jumbled mess. So one should go there. Oh, they're going to go down here. Oh, this sucks. Okay. Well, not the best planned thing. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. What I could do is just grab this with the helping hand. That should work. Oh, no. Video. Video cut out. Oh, ah, and the battery's dead on there. Okay. Oh man, it's so warm. Okay, what if someone drew what I had before? Haha, <laughs> that'd be funny. Ah oh, man. Man, okay, okay. I want to keep going on this. I, I, I want you guys to see this sort of final final countdown here. Uh, I need to charge this. Okay, I'm going to run over, plug this in, and maybe, just maybe, I can get something working here. I'm trying to trying to use my five head here. Um, hmm. Okay. Plug this in here. Now I can't use that. Actually, if it turns on right here, if I can just plug this in and, and it turns on. And I might, I, I, can't, I can't see chat right now, so if you're suggesting something, I won't be able to see it right now. It's powering on. I don't know that I want to strain that phone. Uh, all right, let's see. Other cameras that I have. See, the, the issue is that I have to connect it somehow over the internet. Uh, mm, the internet. Um. Wow, this is uh, this is annoying. I'm gonna come over and look at chat here. Classic spaceship sounds. No, no one said anything. <laughs> oh man. This sucks. This sucks. How can I get a camera? Gotta get a camera, dude. Okay. Um, what if... Oh, and I'll be surprised if this works. The, the, the phone that I'm streaming the uh, audio off of. So I'm actually using my phone as a, an audio pack here. Do I have the app? I don't have the app right now. If I download the app here, 
the, the crappy one that, um, actually I can do the other one that doesn't have as good image quality, but I can still use it, so, that one, okay, All right, hopefully the audio doesn't go wacko when I try to use internet services on my phone. It's, a, it's an eight-year-old phone. So, okay, hope, okay, has it messed up yet? Can someone in chat tell me, has it messed up yet? Not yet, okay, okay. This is, this is progress. So now we're going to go to my camera scene. And I'm going to add something. Add that. I'm going to attempt just to get a very small thing there. Probably MJPEG. Type in the IP. Okay. Activate and Uh oh. Okay. Is it not doesn't seem to be the the reason you're seeing orange is because that's the background that you shouldn't be ah. Uh. That should work. It says that it was... Hold on. Oh, 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 I put in the wrong IP. I put in the wrong IP. Okay, okay, okay. DMCA alert? What? Shree, what, what are you on about? What, what, what the? And? Oh, <laughs> got the wrong one. Got the wrong app. A two-parter. I am going to try to do this in one stream, just because I'm having fun. Um, and it seems like this is about to work. Oh, wait, 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 there it was. There it was. Uh, it's just in the corner there. Hold on. Let me resize this. It's going to be somewhat low quality. <laughs> um, what can I do here? I'm going to grab my tripod. And you're going to see blank for a second here. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. This is going to work. Now, chat, remind me that I cannot stand up without unscrewing my uh, phone from this tripod. <laughs> Otherwise, it will go very poorly. And this one doesn't crash unexpectedly. Unsaved changes. Sure, save them. Go ahead. I'm going to grab this. Drag it that way. That's over there. And now, you guys can see this. Uh, we'll just reframe this so you guys can see over there. And there we go. There it is. Not the greatest FPS, but it's there. And now the audio, now that, I, actually, that seems to be okay. It actually seems to be alright. I'm going to move this a little bit up. So you guys can see this, what I'm working on here. There we go. 
I'll do my best to work around the camera here. Audio is weird-ish. See, I kind of expected that because now I'm using Wi-Fi for both the video and audio on the same device, the same eight-year-old device. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, it's going to be here and then. You're going to hear some glitches. But that's about it. That should it should work. And the video is going to be a bit laggy. And maybe I'll close off the um, the schematic here. Just a little off center. Oh well. You know what? Oh well. I'm going to say oh well to that. So there we go, there's the first one connected. Honestly, this is a, in some ways a little bit better. And let me see my battery here. Okay, we're actually fine here. Dim the screen. Awesome. Save some power there. Next one is going to connect right there. Try to show you guys. It's connecting it in there. And it's going to bend over there, right there, there, there we are, right there. Going to solder that one down. Oh, come on. It's not quite touching there. So I'm going to grab the other arm on the helping hand, so I'm going to let go of this here. Just going to grab it there. Alright. This is a process here. Quite the process, in fact. Hmm. The other hand on the helping hand doesn't reach call it a T-Rex. Alright. Actually, what if I grab both the wire and the PCB, both with this helping hand. Okay, then I'm going to adjust this wire. And then that connects right there. Awesome. OK. Next one is going to connect right in there. See, hopefully this works. Grab that again with the helping hand. Reach it down a little bit so it reaches over there. And now I'm going to get this out of the way so I don't want it to connect here. I only want it to connect on that one. Yep. I just realized I have to do a little more wiring on the signal part of this. Okay. Last channel 4 on the Y. Let's see. Connect it in right there. Oh, 
what is it doing now? Probably have to twist this up so that it can actually go through the proto board. Epic, awesome, pretty cool. And then You guys can't see that. Uh, so I'm gonna grab that. There. Connect that up right there. So is this going to actually work? Yes. So it looks like when this is mounted here, the cables are actually going to reach. So that's a good sign. It's just going to be when I'm maintenancing and maintenancing this, it's going to be a wee bit annoying to mess around with. So this this up this next one that I'm connecting here, this wire, it's gonna go right in there. That's a little funky to connect. I could connect it like right up there. So I connect it above here. It's hard to see, hard to see. So I'm going to connect it up above there. Oh, above there. And on the other side. Oh, that's fun. Insulated wire there. My ground wire is in the way, so. Poking up right there. Very, very hard to see. Uh, all right. What can we do instead? Because I don't really like that solution. So probably what I'll do is just hold it there and solder it down. So I'm going to hold it there. So I'm going to get a helping hand over on this side. Then you're going to hold that. And you're going to hold this. now lined up and I can solder them. So basically I just positioned it using the helping hand. And that right there is connected. Unhook those. All right, now I want to see if this uh, this works. This connects in here. So it looks like it's going to connect in there, and they, this is going to go on top there, and that's going to work. And the buttons are almost all done. I just have to connect these two little bars here to two different connectors. Let's see. Let me look on the schematic. Pull up the schematic for you guys. What's the wrong one? 
Alright. So this one right here, I'm going to connect over here to that SCK pin. And this one up here is going to connect to MI. So the bottom one's going to connect to SCK, top one's going to connect to MI. So I'm trying to think how to do this here. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bridge here to the pin over there. I believe it's W. Yeah, pin W right here. They're, they're labeled. So it's going to be pin W from this one. And that is right. Alright, All right. let me check the schematic one more time. That bottom one goes to SCK. Good. Just for you to see. I'm looking at this one right here. This one goes over to SCK. Over that, whatever SCK stands for, I do not care. <laughs> I am just here to connect it. All right. Let's see here. Um, all right, this one connects. I, I'm, I'm triple, quadruple checking this because I do not want to mess this one up. Okay, that's right. Now I go grab a little bit of green wire. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Green wire, cut the end off here. Okay, got a green wire. It's going to route. Uh, turn off the schematic here. It's going to route up here to W, so I'm going to only have like that much wire. Cut off the rest. Take some of this off. Awesome. Let's see. I'm gonna solder this on here. Might have to grab helping the helping hand. Right there, there we go. Gonna have to angle it funkily here to get this to work. Kinda have to rotate it too. Awesome. There we go. It's connected. 
Here we go, I'll show you what I did just here. Right there. That wire right there is connected over here. So now I can route this over to wire W. So we're going to cut off a little bit more of this. I'm going to actually also go ahead and clamp both the wire and the PCB at the same time. All right. Hmm, this is tricky. This is trickier than the last one. I'm going to expose a little more wire, remove a little more insulation here. This is tricky. Ooh, yeah, grabbing it closer to where I'm actually going to solder it is helping. So I'm soldering it right here and I'm grabbing it right here now. So it's very close. I have to fit this wire underneath here. All right, thanks. See it. Oh man, pliers maybe? Maybe pliers will help. This is taking a little bit. This is a low energy part of the stream. Not a whole lot happening. Ooh, I'm crushing the ground wire. I should have done, I should have put the uh, 
wire so it would go out on the other side. So what I want to do is solder this here, right? So uh, I'm doing exploring what I'm doing here. I might I, what I wanted to do there was have it press against where I want it to solder. There it is, like that. So that wire is pressing against the pin. So then when I go to solder it, it's going to naturally want to stick to that one. That's the idea. Might work in theory. But who knows? Clover Hugh is. He knows a lot. Ha ha. Oh, come on. All right. I think that's the best I'm going to get it. Let me just try that. Uh, helping hand. Go ahead and grab there. Nudge the camera a little bit. Okay. So I've got to heat this up somehow. Oh, wow. There it is. Plenty of setup. But then... Oh, I'm probably lagging out a little bit. Look at that. Would you look at that? Let me see. My battery's not doing too bad. There we go. That connection right there is what I just made. That's too bad, but um, you can see what I'm doing in there. It's connected over to here. And now this one has to connect to that one. This one down here, this line down here, has to connect to pin X. X is MI, yep, that's right, just double checking. And then I'll look at the schematic to make sure. And we'll see that the top one connects over to MI, the top Y. Again, those of you who don't know, it's this wire right here connects down to the MI pin. Just a name they gave it. Pretty cool. All right. One second here. All right. Next one, I'm definitely going to do 30 FPS for this stream. Find a way to charge that phone while I'm showing you guys what I'm doing. Which angle did you prefer? This one here or the one before? Given that this one isn't all glitchy. Okay. Where did my green wire go? Now, what's nice is I haven't accidentally stood up and joined the cable anywhere. You know, I don't think it's actually going to happen. It's very nifty. All right. So next, this I'm just going to use this wire. It's just wire I find. I'm going to go ahead and solder this on here. Oh, and the spaceships are back. Wahoo, my favorite. Ah, definitely got to use a helping hand for this one. You guys can't see what's going on with the schematic. Sorry about that. Here we go. 
Right here. Awesome. This wire is heating up. Kind of hurts to hold. A bit of an oopsie daisy right there. All right, let's see here. Got to grab this. Add more solder. Oh, got to clean this tip off. All right, hold up route around all these cables. Okay. All right there. Ah, well that was effective. Okay, there we go. That looks good. There we go. Okay. Get this one connected right there. Hmm. Gonna expose a little more wire there. Make this easier on myself. Let's see it, let's see it. That looks like it'll connect. If I solder it here. There we go. Didn't even use the, didn't even use the helping hand there. That was awesome. So that's routed there. Wow. Oh, looks like it's only the LEDs. It's been three and a half hours. Surprisingly, uh, no stream issues, like actual streaming issues. I think it's yeah, zero dropped frames, which is insane. I guess I'm not playing a video game or anything, but uh, it's still pretty crazy. If you're just joining, we're working on this thing right here. It's hard to get it in frame. I've had to change camera positions, but here it is in all of its glory. It's a MIDI mixer. It's going to mix my audio volumes, and we're, we've been working on the electronics here. Um, to recount everything that I've gotten done so far would take a little longer than I would want, so I'm going to hold off on that. Man, oh, these LEDs I'm not looking forward to too much, but I do have that schematic to help me out. And I color coordinated it. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and switch these two. So. 
Hold on one second. You. One moment. Just that. All right. Now it's like switched around so you guys can see it. Um, you guys can see the schematic, but you can also see uh, what I'm doing over here. Awesome. Now, what I'm going to do, what's going to happen, is I have three colors. Yellow corresponds to this one, right here, this resistor, right in there. Blue is the middle one, and orange is the top one. I don't think I have those wire colors, but... I could try. Uh, let me let me look. Let me look. I still will not yoink my cable away from my cable. Ooh, that'd be interesting. Servo wire. Because servos have three cables going in and out. Doesn't look like I have that much regarding specifically colored wire of that type. All right. I don't have those wire colors, but. I'm just gonna go with my trusty old green wire. <laughs> or basically just wire that I'm gonna look around for for a second here. Here's this piece of wire. This looks like enough. I do kinda wanna have three different colors just to keep a little clarity. But I'm gonna go ahead and use this wire here. It's just a black wire, red wire. And then let me find another one here. Actually, this one's a little orange, uh, but it's too stiff, too stiff. Um, I might just go cut some. I actually do like the idea of servo wire right here. That actually does kind of look nice. And it, it, it moves around quite easily, like that. Like, it, it bends very easily. So, servo, yeah, yeah, I'm going with this. I'm going with this. Um, it's not going to work for every single part of this. But effectively, what I'll do here, if I can, oh, frame rate, please. Okay. Hopefully, the audio isn't dying. So, what I'm doing here, I'm splitting these apart. So, now, right, I've got that. Okay. Easy. Easy peasy. Now I take off some of the insulation. You've seen me do this. You may have seen other people do it. You may have done it yourself. I'm taking off the insulation off the end of the wire. Right here. Let the frame rate catch up. <laughs> right there. All right. There it is. So now these are going to go into the PCB like so. One, two, and three, come on, two, can I count, let's see, oh, they all fell out, bars, bro, that was bars, I'm going to twist them so that they won't separate when I'm trying to put them in the perf board, because this is stranded wire. And wow, I'm almost done with the wiring for this. This is awesome. All right. Try this again. Maybe try this. Oh, they're already separating. There we go. Just like that. Those fit in there. That actually works out pretty well. 
And now I'm just going to go ahead and solder those on there. Spaceship sounds are nice and gone. I'm going to grab the helping hand. It's going to hold this in place for me. Actually, hold on, let me just adjust these a little bit. All right, they actually fell apart here a little bit. Just going to straighten out the wires. Again, I'm going to try twisting them up. I don't know that it worked last time. It's worth a shot. Yeah, this is going to work well. I like where this is going. Very cool. Yellow is on the bottom there. There we go. That's much better. That is much better. Now I'll grab the helping hand. Get it to grab right there. And they also fall out, which is unfortunate. See, someone is at the door again. And I don't know if someone else is there. I should go let them in. I'm going to go let them in in a second if no one else goes. This is also being annoying here. I think I have to go over. I'm gonna go let someone in the door. Hold on. And guess who forgot that their um, uh, microphone was plugged into their mounted phone. <laughs> Not to fear, the audio cable fell out. We're fine. We are fine. Hopefully the audio is not terrible. That is all I hope. At this very moment. You know, this is a new experience for me. You know, I can, oh, I can tin the wires. I'm gonna tin the wires. So what that does, you add solder to the wires and then it's easier to work with them because then they act as one continuous sort of thing instead of strands. Just like Hideo Kojima's strand type game was very, very hard to work with. But then he needed a story to get it all, to, I don't know what I'm talking about. I've never played Death Stranding. Okay. It's the very first strand type game. Should make an electronics uh, simulator called a strand game. That'd be funny because it references the video game Death Stranding. Alright. Around. The uh, real life stream sniper just stopped by. I was talking to him. In case you were wondering who I was just talking to. In case any of those sentences made um, particularly less sense than usual. Oh boy, I tinned one of the wires a little thick. I could just do one at a time. Hmm. Might work.
actually, I'm going to get all three, maybe. We'll see how this goes, right here. Hmm, so I guess I can hold this with one hand. There might be enough solder on here already to do something with that. Or I could just grab a little bit with my other hand. Epic plays here. Getting solder on the soldering iron before with one hand. With another hand. Wow, this is incredibly difficult. Okay. Oh, that worked. That worked. That was the strat. That was the strategy right there. Okay, now I'll use the helping hand. Don't want that to roll off the table. Okay. Grab down here. It's a helping hand. Hold that in place. Now I can use a solder. Another hand. We will see. And I can add solder there. Can add solder there. Oop. Okay, <laughs> that went surprisingly well. Very cool. Looks like those are only bridged where I wanted them to. And now I've got three wires coming off that are in the wrong order that I wanted, but that's fine. That's fine. That works. It works. I just have to remember that they're reversed. Or at least just look back and see that they're reversed. So when I set this in to the final project here, it's going to be set in like this, right? And channel one is on this side. So that's, that's LED number one. Now, if you look, if I change the place where I'm looking on here, I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to zoom into the LEDs. Now remember, this is the top, wait, this is the bottom one, so this is the equivalent of the, the black wire. The blue one is the middle, and the orange one is the top. So orange is yellow, blue is red, and yellow is black. Black is the new yellow, actually. I think the TV show is the other way around. If I'm not incorrect. If I'm correct. So, the first one there, the first LED, LED number one, so this one right here, connects to the bottom one and the middle one. The bottom one is the black one, the middle one is the red one. And the positive end goes to the middle one. So I'm going to go ahead and solder that right now. Uh, set up a helping hand. It's got to rotate a little bit. hand is a little unstable here. All right, there we go. All right, there it is. Actually, I kind of want to connect to lower here on this LED. You guys can't see this very well, can you? There's that. That's connected there. Let's see.
just going to make sure once more that I'm correct on this. No, the yellow one's going to positive. This one's going to negative. Yeah. Okay, yellow is going to positive. And yellow is the bottom one. Okay, so this is reversed. Try to frame that okay. All right. So this one's going to go to negative instead. Actually, it might be helpful to mount this, to mount the uh, front plate here to the PCB holder that I have. I'm going to flip this over. All right, let's see. So channel one is going to be on this side right here, and the red wire in the middle connects to the ground, somewhat counterintuitively. All right. All right, there we go. I don't want to kill this LED, uh-oh. Ah, oh, no, all I did was tin the wire. Uh-oh, oops. This is where it's kind of hindering me to have a camera here. It's a I'm trying to angle it so you guys can see it, but it's kind of hard to do that. Oh boy. And I've been going for almost four hours. Um, so I think I'm going to call it here. Yeah, if you want to see more of this, hit the follow button. Um, probably next stream I'll do is something uh, related to video games, you know, just to kick it back over this break. 
Uh, I have a, I set up an FTB Revelations modded Minecraft server and a Beam MP um, server. If you know what those are, awesome. If you don't, that's all right. If you want to see more of this stuff, probably head over to my YouTube channel. Uh, hit subscribe on my YouTube channel if you want to see this finished product and how I built it start to finish. Um, that's about it. That's all I have. See you guys.